hazards. Not quite as planned, but he got down safely. Now to that flight of the future I mentioned a moment ago with 3 million people flying home this Thanksgiving. We thought we'd take you on a tour of that new jet that promises to erase jet lag. ABC's Jim Avila tonight taking us on board. It's the airplane designed to bring back some of the fun in flight. Boeing 787 Dreamliner, the passenger jet with swooping wings and a fuselage made primarily of plastic composite. It's absolutely a generational step. Boeing has sold more than 800 around the world, but United is the first U.S. airline to fly the Dreamliner in service that began this month. The airlines are buying these because they're cheaper to fly, more efficient, but they're going to sell you on creature comforts like the air itself. There's more oxygen on this plane. It's cleaner and less dry, and they have these huge storage bins, too. You can fit four suitcases in here. The plastic body is stronger than metal, so the air pressure inside can be kept at the equivalent of 6,000 feet instead of the eight or 9,000 in most jets. That translates to higher humidity in the cabin, more comfort, less jet lag, and dry skin. The increase in humidity, the pressurization of the cabin, it's a very different experience in today's airplanes. The windows are a third bigger. There's a light show on board, different colors for takeoff, cruising, dinner time. So we go into the, the warm colors, basically like candlelight. Pilots say the 787 carries the next level of safety. The situational awareness that uh, this airplane produces for us in the cockpit is uh, just phenomenal. From the security camera that shows them who's outside the cockpit door, to advanced radar that detects potential mid-air collisions miles away. Traffic. New GPS can land the Dreamliner on its own in zero visibility. So that gets you out on a foggy day. A plane so advanced, it's moving aviation to the next level, the era of the plastic jet light. Jim Avila, ABC News, Seattle. It could have come in handy today, and when we